Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on uh, dosage calculation, uh, oral dosage calculation actually, and it's word problems. So, um, first question. The order reads penicillin G, 1.5 million units by mouth every eight hours. In stock is penicillin G, 500,000 unit tablets. The question asks, how many units do you administer in one day? So this is what the question is asking for, the number of units in one day. So sometimes when we look at questions like this, we think, oh, we'll just automatically go to D over H times V. But the question is not asking for volume or milliliters or tablets. The question is asking for units. So it's always important to just take your time because sometimes we get into the habit of D over H times V. And it's just important to stop and take a look at the question. What am I being asked for? All right. So how many units do you administer in one day? Well, the order says you give 1.5 million units every eight hours. So that means you're giving 1.5 million million units three times a day, right? So you just say, all right, so I'm going to take my 1.5 million, all right, and multiply it by three, all right? And basically we're taking the 1.5 and multiplying it by three, so that gives us 4.5 million units per day. And that's the answer to the question, right? So again, just stopping and saying, what am I being asked for here? That's all. Next question. Oops. Next question. Based on the doctor's order, you give the client 15 milliliters of medication. So here's the 15 milliliters in the spoon. On hand is Principin Ampicillin for oral suspension, 125 milligrams per 5 milliliters. So this is what we have on hand in our bottle. And sometimes when people see a question like this, it's important, or it helps, I should say, it helps sometimes to just draw a picture. What is going on here? So Given the patient 15 milliliters, in the bottle we have 125 milligrams per 5 milliliters. Now, if you look at this, you say, all right, if I, you know, if you're at home and having to give someone you care about this medication, you know you're giving three times here. So 5 to, or 5 to 15, we've multiplied it by 3. So that means you have to multiply the 125 by 3. You sort of see that, right? However, let's say you want to know a mathematical way to do this. So the mathematical way to do this would be ratio and proportion. So we can see we have a ratio right here, 125 milligrams over 5 milliliters, right? And it equals, we have milliliters on this side, which is the 15 milliliters, and our unknown. What was the doctor's order? All right, the unknown. Because based on that doctor's order, the patient got 15 milliliters. So then this has to be the piece we're solving for. Now, ratio and proportion, you can cross multiply. And you know when you cross multiply, you multiply this side by here and this side by, by the x. My preference is just to deal with the 15 milliliters. It just feels like it's less work sometimes. So I multiply here by the 15 milliliters. That gets the 15 milliliters out of this side. Multiply here by the 15 milliliters. These two cancel, and now you have your unknown equals 15 milliliters times 125 divided by 5. At this point, you can reduce. 
So first of all, you can get rid of your milliliters, milliliters divided by milliliters. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So this is a 1, and this becomes a 3. Now, here, we have 3 times 125 milligrams, which equals X. 3 times 125 milligrams is 375 milligrams. And that's the number of milligrams that was ordered by the doctor. And the reason you know that is because that's what you had to give the patient, right? Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, last one. <clears throat> In stock are bottles of 250 milliliters of a re oh, okay, a wreath rosin suspension, which has a label that reads 375 milligrams per two milliliters. All right. So that's our bottle. 375 milligrams per two milliliters. The doctor's order reads erythrosin, 0.125 grams by mouth every eight hours. The question says, how many milligrams is the patient receiving in one day? So we're being asked for the grams or the milligrams, all right? So then we go back and say, all right, how am I going to figure out how many milligrams the patient's receiving or the client's receiving in one day? Well, I'm giving the person 0 0.125 grams every eight hours, so three times a day. So then we take our 0 0.125 grams and we change it to milligrams, right? And we change it to milligrams by moving the decimal one, two, three places to the right. So we end up with 125 milligrams every eight hours, right? So every eight hours, okay? So that's what we're giving every eight hours and if we're giving medication every eight hours, we know that that happens three times a day. So we take 24 divided by the eight, and we end up with three. And this is 24 hours, right? <clears throat> so we take our 125 milligrams, multiply it by the three times a day, and we end up with 375 milligrams per day. All right, and that would be the answer. All right, and that, <clears throat> excuse me, that video has been brought to you by Wise Guys. Have a good day. Take care.